Okay, so here we are back in my den. A couple of weeks ago, I put up a video where I decluttered some fantasy self books using KonMari method. I recorded all that you're going to see here the same day, back in December of 2021. While this den is fantastic as far as storage space, it has been the bane of my existence since we put these shelves in. This area of the den is always in a constant state of flux and just always overwhelming. I think I need hidden storage and having all of these books and items out in full view causes me a lot of stress. If I didn't show you this space in this state, you wouldn't know where I started from this year. figure out how to do this whole um, YouTube thing and um, I bought this uh, what's it called those little round lights and the stand and everything for myself for Christmas <laughs> when my older two were in second and fourth grade I started homeschooling and that's why I've got these big shelves and I have two huge tables here this was the homeschooling space and I had tons and tons of homeschooling books for those of you who don't know what the Min's game is, it was started by the minimalists. And what you do is on the first day of the month, you get rid of one item, second day, two items, third day, three items, all the way up to the 30th or 31st day of the month when you get rid of 30 or 31 items. Over the course of the month, you will release 500 items. It's pretty effective as a way of decluttering. And I used to have a ton of little kid, you know, story time books. Um, I have whittled that down to one tiny little shelf. Uh, oopsie. Over the years, I've, you know, have had many iterations of what do I want to do? How do I want to make money as an at-home mom? Um, one thing that, uh, a thread that carries through is that I love to be in service. Um, of others and um, helping people with things that are challenging to them. And that's always uh, started with myself having the same similar issues. Health coaching sort of came about uh, being an at-home overweight mom with baby weight to lose, um, even though my baby was eight. <laughs> And I wanted to learn more about nutrition and, you know, taking care of myself. I got certified as a health coach and that worked for a while. I think I had 10 clients. Finding new clients was not what I wanted to do. Um, if people came knocking on my door, I would have happily helped continually. <laughs> this. I think I can let go of more stuff today. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let go of that. <laughs> so I'm going to see what I can do to whittle it down a little bit very quickly. Okay, these are notes that I emailed my actual clients. If I were to ever do this again, would these be helpful? No, because they're about specific people. So those are gone. Mm. These were session outlines. Let's keep one of each and then get rid of the rest. And if I get rid of the individual folders, that's going to take down a bunch of two. Let's lower you, shall we? Boop. Here, I'm about to utilize the head explosion rule from Dana K. White, where basically it says, if you feel like your head is going to explode about trying to make a decision, then toss it. Because if it's not a clear yes, it's a no. 
So I was hemming and hawing over what to do with that stack of papers. So I just let them go. And I don't regret it at all. Yes, yeah, see, I go through this and I'm like, what if I want to do this again? It's just like, it's just so weird. It's such a weird, weird, weird feeling. Ready to get rid of all that yet. That being said, I just got rid of a ton. <sighs> this is so liberating. This is like the easy stuff. Like Danny K. White says, you go through and find obvious trash and duh clutter. And that's what I feel like I did here. But all the rest of this really does either need more time for it to just to fester in my brain or I seriously want to actually read it and look at it to determine if I'm ready to let it go. Yay me. It's just a little box of cards and stuff, but I'm actually thinking I might get rid of a lot of this. I could just go to the dollar store and get a pretty nice card for a dollar. I think I will make a donation pile and then organize things with their envelope afterwards. Well, that was way easier than I thought. These I will bring to the church office. And these are all just blank cards and keep all of these. Two actual cards that are cute that I would probably use. Two cards I made that I like. Keep all these A4s. three kids. These are all items. These are school things. I'm going to shred. performance evaluations and transcripts. School, medical, medical, school, 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 school. These are like memories. I'll just put them all with the school thing. Shred. Trash, trash, trash. 
This can go in these are my school photos. This has got to be organized, but I ain't doing it right now. Shreds. One down. That is piled to shred. This is a pile up along somewhere else. All of this is trash. And I'm gonna take that stuff there right now. Three categories. Currently in use, limited time, and indefinite. Um, I'm gonna create one more to go through. This will be short term. There we go. I have been keeping way too much stuff. This is current and stuff to shred. Stuff for the cat. I don't think I need this um is not the most current and really what do i need all this stuff for i just gotta have a huge snap so proud of myself so proud of myself reggie yeah it's getting rid of a whole Please. bunch of shit from every single visit that i've ever been to at the doctor like, why am I keeping all of this? I keep results, but I don't need all the, you showed up today and here's what we talked about. You know what? I should utilize that. It's good information. Boy, my cholesterol back on sugar and flour days was horrible. Next. Oh, that one's going to be hard. Okay, I can go through this. My sponsored child died of an appendix burst. Kip quashed you candy. He'd be 27. Prasanta. I gotta keep these. Cat just came across all my notes from your um, 50th birthday party. <laughs> That's funny. That is a stack for shredding. Yeah. These are my indefinites. And um, these I just need to go through with a finer tooth comb. I'm sure I will get rid of most of it. I'm sure. Oh, 
let's shred, shall we? I love this little shredder. I think it takes 12 sheets of paper. It's so fun to shred. Thanks to you who have stayed to the end. I really appreciate your time and attention. I would absolutely love it if you would please hit the like button and add a comment. I would also love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified the next time I upload a video. Um, really, really having so much fun creating these videos, editing these videos, learning how to do that whole thing has just been stimulating my brain. Um, I love learning things and learning how to edit videos is a fun new skill. Yeah, so I really enjoy this and I hope to do it for a long time. So please subscribe and share with your friends and family so that our little community will grow. All right, take care. Have a great day and thank you as always for watching. Bye. All done.